This video is to show you how to create in-text citations using Word on a Mac computer. The first thing you want to do is locate the References tab and we're going to change the style of referencing to APA for in-text citations. Quite simply, it changed the formatting of the references as it appears in the bibliography. Next, you're going to click on the citations option there and it's going to pull up a column on the right hand side. You need to choose the settings button down the bottom and then citation source manager. The box you're looking at now is where you're going to have all of your references and where you're going to input them. We're going to click on new to create our first reference and you need to choose your type of source first and foremost. I'm going to go with website for this one and by the magic of movie editing, I have filled everything in. You can see here that in the author box, I don't have an author's name, a person's name, it's a company name. So in that case, I would need to tick the corporate author box rather than the author box. Next here, I'm showing you that you have to check the example down the bottom. It's showing us that when you're writing in a month, it has to be written out in full rather than with numbers. For a website, you also need to include year accessed, month accessed and day accessed. For some of you, you might not see those boxes straight away and you might need to tick on the show all bibliography fields at the bottom there to access more boxes. And once again, you can see the example that we're given here of the number down the bottom. If you have a single digit number, you don't need a zero in front of it. And for all dates, you don't need to put ST for first or TH for, for fourth and so on. You just need to put the figures. So we're going to click on OK. And that little box that's just come up, this source exists in your master list and current document. I'm going to click on Yes. What that's telling us is the master list on the left hand side refers to all references that you've created across all documents on your laptop. The current list refers to just this document. So as you can see, I've only got one reference in the current list because I've only created one so far. And now we click on close. And you can see my list on the right hand side is now populated with one reference. So we need to put in our first citation. I'm gonna scroll down till I find my quote. And you're always going to put the citation in directly after the quote marks or before the full stop. To do that, I'm just going to double click on the citation that I want to use. And there you go, it's popped in there really quick, really easy. Now we're going to insert the bibliography. So I'm going to the end of my essay, I'm going to the insert tab, the pages tab, and I'm choosing page break to give myself a new page. To input the bibliography, I go back to the references tab, choose the bibliography drop down, that's under where we chose APA earlier, and I'm going to choose the first option that comes up that says bibliography. And there we go, it's in there. And as you would expect, it's got one reference in there currently. Now if I go back to the source manager, I'm gonna add in a couple more references before I do that, I just want you to notice that the British Library reference has a tick next to it. That's because we've already inputted the citation once within the essay. So the citation being the bit that's in the brackets in the actual body of the essay. Before you hand in your essay, you need to check that on your current list, all of your references have a tick next to them, ensuring that every reference in your bibliography is cited within your essay. If it doesn't have a tick, you either need to go back through your essay and make sure it's been cited somewhere, or you need to take that reference out of your bibliography altogether. Going back to the bibliography now, we're going to update. So you click on the little down arrow and then choose update citations and bibliography. And now you can see we've got three references in there and it's put it automatically into alphabetical order. I'm gonna put now one more reference in my essay. There we go. And let's just double check. Now we have two ticks. So both of those have been cited within the essay. This one, however, is a book, which means we need to also input page numbers. So if I now click on my citation and then click on the down arrow that appears, I can choose edit this citation and I have a box to input page numbers. I need to tick on suppress title and then click on OK 
and hey presto, there are my page numbers. That's it. That is everything you need to know about referencing. If you do get stuck at all, you're not quite sure what source to use when you're choosing your type of source or you're getting a little bit confused with any other facet of referencing and citing, please drop me an email and let me know and we'll go over it together.